So we recently heard the news on the Pixel foldable device, the Notepad. Now we have also heard that the next generation Tensor chip will again feature Samsung's Exynos modem. Now even though it's still 8 months away from getting launched by Google, the Google Pixel 7 lineup pictures which showing the whole design are here. The first images of the Pixel 7 came in the form of CAD renders which does look a little sketchy and that's why we called it CAD renders but like Steve Hamster aka on leaks has revealed the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro's press ready renders showing the whole design from the front, rear and every side and angles. But the design overall is very similar to the current gen pixels. The Pixel 7 however got a major redesign in the front but it will return three things from the Pixel 6. The bottom bezel, the punch hole and the flat display. And I think people will like the flat display anyway. The side bezels are very thin on the Pixel 7, which is also a welcome change. Now if you look at the Pixel 7 Pro, it also has a very minimal design tweaks. From the front, it looks to have no changes. The same curvy display, very slim bezels, slight bit of chin and a punch hole. That's it. But there is at the back the same camera bar with slight design tweaks. Like this time the camera bar on both phones will seamlessly blend into the frame which does look slightly like the S21 series but hey whatever. Which also does look slightly odd from certain angles mostly with the silver frame. But keep this in mind these renders might not be 100% accurate in terms of finer details. Other than that there will also be an outline around the camera sensors inside the camera bar to make it a little different. The Google Pixel 7 will have a dimension like this, 155mm tall, 73.1mm wide and 8.7mm thick. Now compared to the Pixel 6, it's slightly, just slightly smaller because of the bezels most probably. Meanwhile the 7 Pro's rumored dimension is like this, 163mm tall, 76.6mm wide and 8.7mm thick nearly identical to the Pixel 6 Pro's dimension, just slightly thinner. That means you can expect almost the same screen size and battery capacity on both of the phones, almost same. Now as far as the screen size goes, the Pixel 7 Pro will have a 6.7 inch to 6.8 inch screen in diagonal. The Pixel 7 on the other hand might feature 6.4 inch or smaller like 6.3 inches kinda. Now it is still unknown what kind of refresh rates will be there but the Pro model will at least offer 120Hz display. I hope that it will feature the LTPO 2 corner display technology as like the S22 Ultra. So the refresh rate can switch between 1Hz to 120Hz depending on the content on the display. It remains to be seen exactly what will be the second generation Tensor SoC offer in terms of CPU and GPU, like what kind of configuration. But hopefully it will be able to compete with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and, App and Apple's upcoming A16 Bionic, at least in terms of performance and efficiency. But this time if Google wants not to be ignored by us, then definitely they have to focus on the software which definitely needs a lot of work as far as both the stability and the long term software supports are concerned. Samsung is doing it. Google should do it. Thank you for listening to me this long. I appreciate that. And yeah, my latest Mountain Series 1 wallpaper pack is finally here. The pack has 16 different very high resolution, close to 8K, stunning wallpapers custom made for modern desktops, tablets, smartphones. So you don't have to crop, rotate or do stuff like that. You can visit my website joindavid.com to check out. Where you're gonna find a lot more tech news way faster than these videos. And definitely do hit the like button and do subscribe this channel as well. Until the next one, bye and take care.